there's a a verse that I want to read and then um an exercise from Ron Roth, one of his from his book, Prayer in the Five Stages of Healing, about eliminating the fear from the chakras. And I think this may resonate with people as we go through this, I'm going to identify the fears in the chakras and just listen to that and move that energy out and just get rid of the fear. So I'm first going to talk about the verse, which is Matthew 5.13. This is uh, from the Sermon on the Mount, the teaching about salt and light. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? You can make, can you make it useful again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a mountain glowing in the night for all to see. Don't hide your light under a basket. Instead, put it on a stand and let it shine for all. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. And it's just about just stepping into that and just cleansing yourself and just shining out. So. I'll start with, Ron gives us an example of the first Pentecost. So after Christ's resurrection, his followers were gathered together and they were paralyzed with fear about going out into the world. Then the light of energy of God in the form of a flame came into the room and hovered over their heads. I'm sure everyone knows about the flame of the Pentecost. The energy began to move through the seventh chakra down through the sixth, fifth, fourth, third, first, the second and first, and completed a, an energetic shift through and within them. It healed them of their fear, and then they were ready to go out into the world to complete their mission. Well, we find ourselves stuck, and it's fear, and So I'm just going to begin the exercise and just see what resonates with you. Just visualize what's happening here and and if there's a fear that's called out that you recognize, just ask God to remove that. So we're going to start by having you close your eyes and take three deep breaths. I want you to begin to feel the presence of God with the presence above your head. Sense the divine releasing its light, its love, its mercy as the energy of God begins its journey. As the light moves down through the energy centers, it dissolves fear and heals the physical illness associated with that chakra. This energy now is moving into the crown of your head the seventh chakra where the fear of knowing yourself and fear of spiritual growth lies which basically is a fear of God we fear that achieving union with God will mean our personal dissolution when in fact it means our complete realization allow the light to pass through and be aware of the presence of God removing this fear. Feel it now. The light then moves to the sixth energy center where the fear of self-examination, fear of intuition, fear of being open to others' ideas, and fear in the form of jealousy and insecurity lies. Let this light bathe you from within, cleansing the chakra, release the fear, do it now. The light of God continues to move through the fifth center. It uncovers the fear of self-assertion, creativity, expressing one's needs, 
feelings and opinions, also the fear of expressing grief and hurt, the fear of saying, I'm sorry. Bathe in God's light, release the fear now to the Holy Spirit. Next, the Spirit of God moves down to the fourth energy system. Here lies the fear of showing affection, fear of loneliness, fears resulting in guilt, resentment, and judgment. When we are in this fear, our heart, our heart closes and we shut down. As the light of God passes through this chakra, God is putting us back into harmony with ourselves, healing the fear so that we may truly experience an abundant life. Be with that now. The light of God moves to the third level. Here it encounters the fear of failure intimidation, criticism, of not living up to another's expectation, often resulting in depression and fear. Whatever the light of God touches, love is replacing the fear. Feel this love now. Next, the light moves through the second chakra. This is where feelings of inadequacy, especially in the area of sexuality, feelings of low or negative self-esteem, and where the fear of personal relationships resides. As the presence of God moves through your energy system, be aware of what's going on in your body. Sense the rigidity in your body being replaced by flexibility and feel the peace within you now. At last, the light of God enters the first energy system for fear of providing the necessities of your life for yourself and for others. Here is where one views the world as a threatening place, unable to protect oneself, fear of abandonment and separation from the world. Let the Spirit of God move through because healing from the inside out comes with great sense of empowerment. Be with that now. Let us be thankful to the light of God for the experience of love and presence moving within us. May we move forward as the disciples did at Pentecost to go out into the world and to be the light. Amen. Thank you.